Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The non-binary AI chip, developed by Professor Li Hunger's team at Beijing University of Aeronautics and Astronautics, has been officially mass-produced in a Hebei factory. This thing completely abandons the rigid logic of traditional chips that are either zero or one and uses the black technology of probability calculation. Not only does it reduce energy consumption by 70%, it can also work normally in extreme environments, such as power outages and signal interference. It directly bypasses all U.S. technology blockades, and even the U.S. itself cannot make it. In the chip factory in Langfang, Hebei, the world's first non-binary chip production line is running at full speed. What flows on the assembly line is not ordinary silicon wafers, but the hybrid probability calculation SOC chip that Li Hunger's team has worked on for three years. Traditional chips are like obsessive-compulsive patients, and each data must be accurate to zero or one, but this batch of chips is like a master who can guess riddles, allowing the use of about 70% is one probability values to process information. The team twisted binary numbers and probability numbers into a rope to create a hybrid random number, HSN, system. Simply put, it allows the frequency of current pulses to represent the value. This set of cool operations directly overturned two major industry problems, the power consumption war, where the larger the amount of data, the more power it consumes, and the system war, where new material chips and old equipment are incompatible. Test data shows that when processing aviation navigation data, the chip power consumption plummets to 30% of traditional chips and can also withstand military-grade electromagnetic interference. The tower control system of the Capitol Airport was the first to use it. When the radar signal was intermittent during heavy rain, the chip relied on probability calculation to stably command the flight to land. When the robotic arm installed engine parts, the chip could instantly identify the 0.1 mm offset error of the parts which was more poisonous than the eyes of the old master. Engineers from SMIC revealed that the mass production used a mature 110 nanometer process, which was half the cost of a 7 nanometer chip, and the old equipment could be used directly by adding a driver. The U.S. Department of Commerce is probably regretting it now. When they blocked the export of chip equipment to China last year, they never thought that the Chinese would overturn the table from the bottom of mathematics. Li Hunger's team directly skipped the physical limitations of silicon-based chips and built a complete system using the open-source RISC-V architecture. The president of ASML of the Netherlands recently complained publicly, we have to check 800 US bands to sell lithography machines, but they don't use lithography machines at all. Even NVIDIA CEO Huang Rinshuan admitted that this batch of chips is 1.8 times faster than his H100 graphics card in image recognition scenarios. In the workshop warehouse, the first batch of 100,000 chips are being stamped with the China Aerospace logo.
Worker Lao Li wiped his sweat and said, Last month, we worked until the early morning to supply the new navigation system for the Long March rocket. The test report shows that when the rocket passes through the ionosphere and the signal jitters, the error rate of the equipment equipped with non-binary chips is only 0.0007%. The new batch of chips at the end of the assembly line has been printed with the industrial-grade radiation-resistant logo, ready to be stuffed into the belly of the nuclear power plant robot to work. Guangming Daily Reporters spent three months on the spot and captured key details. The factory replaced the entire set of equipment with embedded upgrades. After the old German equipment of Shenyang Machine Tool Factory swallowed this batch of chips, the processing accuracy increased from 0.01 mm to 0.001 mm. The factory director was so excited that he renewed the 10-year maintenance contract on the spot. Even more amazing is the operation of the aviation system. A certain type of fighter directly removed three traditional chips and replaced them with a non-binary chip, reducing the total weight by 17 kilograms and increasing the flight time by half an hour. Li Hunger led his students to modify the probabilistic instruction set to cram the voice recognition function into the next generation of chips. In the test room, a command with heavy metal noise, turn left 30 degrees, the chip accurately captured the keywords in only 0.8 milliseconds. The team engineer slammed the table and shouted, Traditional chips would have crashed long ago when encountering this kind of noise, but ours can continue to calculate half of the data before the power outage. Texas Instruments engineers privately admitted, We have studied probability calculation for eight years, but the cost of mass production has never been suppressed. In the test of Tokyo University in Japan, the heat generated by Chinese chips for the same flight control task was only a quarter of that of Sony sensors. The production capacity table of the Hebei factory shows that starting from the next quarter, monthly output will soar to 500,000 pieces all of which will be supplied to the domestically produced large aircraft C929 and BYD unmanned trucks.